now that we've done uh, our C scale, now we're ready to um, uh, attempt a tune uh, that deals with the C scale. So this is a very old tune and a, actually a tune that suits the accordion really, really well. And it would have been one of the first tunes that I learned of my uh, great accordion teacher um, from Lockray, Joe Burke. Um, he actually uh, recorded it on one of his albums, I think, many years ago. So, um, so this would be your chance to uh, get my interpretation from uh, from Joe Burke's interpretation. Anyway, um, he made a great he made a great job of it. Um, it's called the Geese and the Bog. So I'm going to play it for you first, and uh, just to give you a feel for the tune and let you listen to it, and you'll be able to absorb it, and uh, then we'll uh, we'll tackle it then piece by piece. Okay. So that, that's a bit of the geese in the bog, and um, so we're going to uh, go straight into the first part of it, and we'll take it bit by bit, okay? So uh, we're going to start with our first finger, or with our third finger, sorry, on, um, on middle C, so that'll be here, and we're going to use our first finger then to go down to E, so, so that's the first three notes. And the next uh, uh, three notes are G, E, E. And the next three notes are the same as the first. And finish off the line with G, A, B. So the first line is first line. Another thing that I like to think of with jigs as well, if you're finding the jig rhythm um, a bit confusing maybe, um, I always try to take it uh, because the notes are grouped in trees, it's easy to um, it's easy to follow the rhythm like that as well so and it's easy to break down the tune into three notes as well so that's what I tend to do um, uh, when I'm learning a jig and uh, it may be a bit confusing is I split it up into three and it's, uh, it's easier to, um, to take in that way as well. So, so we'll just try that first line again and think of that way. So, so that's the first line. Now the second line it starts the same. G with our second finger, E with our first, D with our first, E, A, A, and then a long A. So the long A, when I say long A, I mean the, um, the A it takes up um, uh, the space of two notes. So uh, you'll see as it's written down in the notation um, how that looks like. 
but um, for the time being you can hear it. So I'll just play that second line again. second line so we'll try those two uh, those two lines together okay so one two three and tunes as well the third line is the same as the first now the last line starts with C with our third finger B on the same button A with our second G with our second Do that again. C B A T E T E A A A B. So that's the first part. I'm going to play it all together now, so you can play along with me. Okay. So one. Two, three, and... So that's our first part all done so like I said with other tunes this tune is a, is a double tune so you will be playing that part twice as well so the first part twice and then the second part or the, or the B part uh, twice as well and then the whole tune is repeated so in the next uh, in the next lesson we're going to deal with the second part of the tune <laughs>